But uh, uh, coming up to the stage right now, we got, sp we got one of those aforementioned special guesties. Uh, he is in town from St. Louis, Missouri, uh, the home of the blues. And, uh, and oh, I love this guy. He has a show called History Schmistery, uh, where uh, historical figures do stand up. It's very funny. He has a show called Bare Knuckle Comedy, and it's the best independent showcase in uh, St. Louis. And he's, he's in town. He's doing the show for the first time. Let's show him why Chicago audience is the best. Let's show him why the audiences here are the best. Good up. For Christian Lawrence, everybody! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Look at Andy posting the shit out of this show, guys. Look at Andy. Look at it. <laughs> I'm... I'm not here. <laughs> right now. I don't know when I'm gonna... Be back. Please leave a message, but I don't know when I'm going to be back. Beep hype. Uh, Mr. Lawrence, this is Tony with AT&T. Just wanted to give you a call. Uh, you're about two months behind on your cell phone bill, but uh, listen to your voicemail there. We just decided to write that off. Just, um, just get some help, Mr. Lawrence. Get things together. Uh, get, this is Tony, AT&T. Get some help. That's how you can save some money. <laughs> Do you guys like impressions? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Hey, I'm gonna do a quick impression for you. Uh, this is my impression of a man who, having recently been fired from his job, he's on the uh, elevator going to the 99th floor, where knife in hand, he's about to ruthlessly slaughter every single one of his former coworkers. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Well, uh, like uh, again, he said, I'm from St. Louis. Uh, you may have heard of our arch. It's, uh, it's very, very silly. My brother-in-law used to. Uh, oh, shut up, music! You're so horrible. Uh, my brother-in-law used to be one of the uh, the tour guides up there, and you know, people would come up and they'd ask him all these questions, like, you know, what is what is it like? What's tell me about the history of it? Uh, and it's super tall. One time he's up there, and old fella comes up. He's asking some questions. Uh, my brother-in-law's a little bit of an asshole, you know. He'll he'll, he'll tell you some lies. He old fella's like, a, does it does does the arch ever just move in the wind? Does it ever move at all? And my uh, my brother-in-law's like, uh, yeah, what it'll do sometimes is just just bend right down and kiss the river and come right back up. And that old fella, I never saw it. I, I can't imagine that guy could have gone down the stairs any faster from the top of the fucking arch. Uh, do you guys have a Six Flags here? Is there a Six Flags around here? We got one in St. Louis. There's a ride they have there called the Superman Ride. And what is, you get on this thing, it goes all the way up to the top, and then it drops, right? And everybody, oh, that's a lot of fun, and you fly on there. So I'm there one summer, and uh, I'm talking to the teenager who runs this thing, and I notice they bring it all the way up to the top, and I notice there's like a cloudy kind of haze up at the top. Everybody's up at the top, and it's kind of, everybody's yelling, screaming, and I figure they're going to have a lot of fun, right? I'm like, what is this haze up here? What is, what am I not seeing? And this teenager just goes, oh, those are, uh, those are wasps. <laughs> and that's fucked up, because first I thought like, oh, look, they're having fun, they're yelling, screaming, having fun. No, these people are being stung to fucking death while they're, <laughs> and that's, that's a pretty shitty way to go. Uh, outside of uh, outside of this, uh, I, play, I uh, make a lot of board games. I'm not doing this. Um, Quadriplegic Twister. I don't know if you've seen that one. I got that up on there. Uh, NPR Pledge Drive the Game. Well, it's not fun. It's just involved. I got another one. It's just called a fifth of whiskey and some dice. I don't even I don't even know how to play it. To be honest with you. Uh, I'm having some fun with. Uh, uh, old-timey radio lately 
Can I read you an old-timey radio commercial that I, I wrote the other day? Yeah. Oh, I got applause and shit. And you run a great fucking show, man. Okay. All right. All right. Imagine, imagine I'm an old radio. I am a radio. Okay. In this modern age of smokestacks spewing filth into the sky and steam technology trains slamming into each other at breakneck speeds, it's important to think about the safest way to travel across the expansive face of our nation. What with Henry Ford's constantly exploding contraption, the automobile, and the Wright brothers' unnatural flying mechanism, there seems to be no safe way to travel. That's why your friends at the Nonpartisan Anti-Chinese League are proud to introduce the Irishman Railroad. Stretching all the way from New York City to the golden shores of San Francisco is a line of filthy Irishmen who will, for a splash of whiskey across their repugnant lips, pass you along man to man across the great face of our nation. You'll get the opportunity to meet other genteel travelers as you are whisked away in extreme comfort on the backs of St. Patrick's stinking brood across amber waves of grain in those purple mountains. God bless America and God bless the Irishman Railroad. Hand to hand and man to man, the safest plan across the land. I'm gonna make money if it was 1920. I wanna finish up with one more old timey thing. If I can have our producers come up here and help me out. I've got a radio drama, okay? And here's the thing, what I haven't told you yet, I am an incredible Foley artist. Okay, anybody know what a Foley artist is? They do the sound effects for stuff, right? They do like, oh, you know, here's the sound of his, his spurs and stuff like that, right? I'm an incredible Foley artist, okay? So I'm going to do the Foley for this show, for the, for the act you're about to hear, okay? So Andrew's going to play Tom. You're going to play Margaret. I'm going to be doing the Foley. Let's hear it, okay? All right. I'm sorry I did that. Kiss me? Yes, I'm married, and it's not fair to the horses. <laughs> Damn the horses. Let's go for a carriage ride. Okay, I'll bridle the horses. Come here, Thunder. Nay, nay. <laughs> Your carriage awaits, my lady. Door creaking open. <laughs> Yet, you're my stallion. And now we ride. Onward, Thunder. Horse, 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 horse. Horse, 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 horse. Thanks, guys. Thanks so much. <laughs> And listen, fellas, 